And thus the wise man saith, The truth lies with the dung beetle. Through hidden paths and dead valleys it had found the sacred source, the fountain of unholy truth. It was pouring spring's final sonata, and the steer's drops fell from his eyes, carving a newfound way through the rock. And so it swinged among the hills, singing with the cattle and rolling, rambling towards the thriving city. He could hear the voices, the blasphemies of the markets and the mighty towers, and the curses thrown from deep below. Music, a new phonic cacophony, this depraved rhythm, chaos abound. Thus the people sing, ragged or rich. And so it swinged among the huts, the dwellings and swampy shanties, and from their mouths it gathered truth. Through narrow roads and shady corners, it had reached the dragon towers, the fountains of life and death. It was pouring fire from the heavens, and its knives, drops went through his eyes, undying markings on his faithless soul. And so it swinged among the bricks, the dark pillars and the dying spirits, strolling up the grayed out streets. It had reached the humble abodes, yellow, red, purple and white, and it had spoken proudly. Laconic, palatial, unbelievable, majestic is the life of the common man, illusions of flight as in a gilded cage. And so it swing among the inns, the markets and overgrown gardens, and from their mouths it gathered truth. Through boulevards and bright avenues it had reached the golden towers, the crown jewels of the unholy city. It was pouring blood on each step, and as acid drops blinded his eyes, uncanny signs of ancient bickerings. And so it swinged among the villas, the mansions and illustrious statues, steadily drifting towards the top. It had reached the royal dwellings, the seat of rapacious lust, and he did not bow to the king. Highness, I have travelled far to smell thy people's succulent truth, and not to my disappointment. I shall cherish thy city's soul, but beware of his inevitable wrath, beware of his unforgiven spirit. And so it swinged among the parks, and the deers and the peacocks, and from their mouths it gathered truth. Through the walls and the towers it had reached his cursed forehead, and it moaned with him. Silent misery.